Hi everyone, I want to come on today to do a quick review of the Louis Vuitton Zoe wallet. So mine in particular I purchased back in February of 2020 and it is a limited edition piece. So this one was in the LV monogram pop, I believe, and it is in the blue edition. And at the time I thought it was really special. It was the only really piece that I saw with silver hardware, which I really loved with this. And on top of that, this is actually a full leather piece. So this isn't coated canvas, this is actually printed leather. And usually you either see a full leather piece uh, that doesn't look like this, uh, or it has the coated canvas on it. And so I picked this up. At, at the time it was $730 Canadian. I guess the most comparable piece right now for a limited edition collection is currently sitting at $795 Canadian on the website and I believe their full leather pieces at the moment for the Zoe wallet is a little over $800 Canadian. Uh, so at the time I still thought that was a hefty price but I really loved the design of it and on top of it being full leather I thought it was a nice piece to try especially because I love compact wallets. So this one in particular again is full leather and all the wallets measure nine and a half centimeters by seven and a half centimeters by three centimeters. So it is very compact, which is something that I look for for a wallet and something that I do really enjoy. And uh, something that I did notice if you're interested in something like this and you have the budget for it is to stray away from maybe the coated canvas pieces, unless of course you really want that. Certain wear and tear things that I noticed with other uh, coated canvas pieces. So for one thing, I noticed of course the usual curling. One that you could normally see if it was a coated canvas was this back pocket. I noticed that it would often, even brand new, would start kind of curving on the edge. And that was just not a look that I liked. But I figured with this leather being 100% leather, it'd be really durable. And I haven't used this consistently for over a year, but definitely on and off since I purchased it back in February. So uh, again, I've had this for over a year now, used it on and off. I actually do avoid using the back pocket too much because I don't want it to stretch out too much. But so far in terms of that uh, curving that I mentioned that I noticed for coated canvas pieces, I haven't seen that. Inside is also a leather. And this I love, it's in this beautiful buttery yellow. Uh, and one thing that I did have to know is these slots are quite tight when you first get it, but now they have slightly loosened up since I've used it. Uh, it also has the full build compartment, which is quite nice, so you don't need to fold anything, and the coin compartment. And the zipper on this is really nice and smooth, and I have used this for coins. It doesn't fit cards or anything really, so it most of the time does stay empty, uh, but if I do have coins, let's say if I do pay for cash, it's nice to have somewhere to just stick my coins in momentarily because I normally take them out once I get home anyway. So this specific piece is made in France and when I purchased it, um, I did of course look it over in the store but uh, otherwise it was in great condition. All the glazing is totally fine, I didn't see any major issues with it um, and it's clean. So overall I was really really happy with it. The most weird that I'd have to say is probably that it has lots of scratches just on the button itself, but being silver there hasn't been any discoloration or anything like that, which I would hope wouldn't be the case since I've only had it for, you know, a little bit over a year. So otherwise it's been great. There was no issues in terms of craftsmanship that I saw, so I was really happy with it. In terms of what fits, again it does have this back pocket which easily fits, if not one card, multiple cards. Uh, but I do avoid using it too much just because I don't want it to be visibly stretched. Uh, and in terms of the inside, I notice with this kind of grain leather, which you do see as well with coated canvas pieces, it is quite tight. So having the four card slots was quite a struggle at the beginning, but it has loosened up a little bit, so it's not as bad anymore. But if that's something you're concerned with or really want to make sure that you have really easy access to cards, I believe probably the full leather pieces or something just with a kind of looser, softer leather that's more malleable on the inside would definitely be the way to go. But aside from that, now that I have stretched it a little bit, uh, it's super easy to put in and out of cards. And you'll see this back pocket, the card actually goes all the way in. So you won't probably want to put in cards that are less used for the back one. But otherwise, it easily fits the four cards. If you want to avoid overstretching, yeah, you can fit in multiple cards. It's quite tight, but you can do it. Um, but I would avoid it if you don't want to overstretch it. So overall, I would say it easily fits five cards. 
Um, and then of course it does have the bill compartment, uh, which is nice. You can fit full size bills in there with no problem. And it's just really nice. And of course you can fit coins as well, which I don't currently have, but there is that. And overall it adds zero bulk to it after fitting those in. So you can definitely stuff in more items. And what I noticed is if I do have any other kind of like, these are like paper loyalty cards, but any other type of IDs or whatever that I would need, I actually sometimes just stuff it in that center compartment and I haven't had any issues with it falling out so far, uh, but that is an option to stick in if you want to fit even more things. Um, but otherwise, this is normally how you would carry it. So I normally have four cards. I have a couple other things that I would just stuff in the bill compartment because uh, I find cards or anything don't really fit in this coin compartment. It's not quite big enough, but I haven't had any issues with it falling out uh, when I stuff things in the bill compartment. And so that's kind of it. Uh, so I do highly recommend this as a compact wallet. For me at least, I am quite minimal in terms of what I bring around with me in my wallet. So this fits everything that I need. So if you're kind of similar in that sense, then I would definitely highly recommend this. But that's about it. Uh, I hope that this video helped you in any way. And if you have any other questions, definitely leave them down below and I will do my best to answer them. But otherwise, I hope everyone has a great day and thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.